Welcome to the Private Property Farming Podcast. My name is Mbali Nwoko and thank you so much for joining us. We are at an exciting new location today and we're bringing you a fresh gardening series in partnership with Home Growers where we're teaching you how to grow your own food using various systems. And um, in just a few minutes, we're going to be chatting to the owner of Home Growers to tell us a bit about his journey, how he started this beautiful brand and how he's teaching a community to grow their own food. And as usual, please like, share and comment on our farming podcast. Well, without further ado, let's meet the man behind the brand. Cass, how are you? I've been looking for you. Wow, good to meet you. Welcome like, to Home Growers. Likewise, thank you. This is a lovely area that you have here. Tell us about Home Growers and yourself. How did you start the brand and when did you start? Yes, yeah, so the Home Growers concept is just such a brilliant concept. I started it just after lockdown. Okay. We came out of that hard lockdown. I became a vegetarian prior to that. And the concept and the journey for me was really about understanding food source where mm. did my food come from yeah and you know, for me I want you to know if I grew the veg if I bought the veg what was the quality like and was I getting the best out of whatever was presented to me and that's mm. how it started I yeah. started questioning a lot of what was coming out of the soil mm. and I started reading a lot and I started following different trends in Europe and America and seeing how people were doing things differently there mm. and I wanted to bring it to South Africa and I wanted mm. South Africans to be able to grow in small spaces, mm. the most incredible vegetables, herbs, and fruits and berries that you can in small spaces. And that was the journey. As I said, I became a vegetarian, mm. and this is where it all really unfolded and came about. But the lockdown is what switched it on. Yeah. So how's that journey been? Um, becoming a vegetarian and then starting a brand that uh, you know caters around fruits, vegetables, growing your own food sustainably in your own garden, no matter how big or small your space is. How's that journey been? And um, what type of um, different fruits and vegetables are you, are you, are you selling here at Home Growers? Okay, so the, the, the journey has been incredible. So we tried and we've manufactured a lot of our own product okay. in terms of the grow bags, so we've got these vertical forests, which mm -hmm. is a beautiful, beautiful movement. You know, people want to grow anything on a vertical. You can have a wall. So a person's living in a townhouse complex, for example, yeah. and they don't have garden space. They can put a vertical forest up. They can grow their strawberries, as you asked about berries, strawberries. They can put vegetables in there. You've got your peppers. You've got your celery. You've got your onions. Mm. You've got almost anything that you can grow in these beautiful pockets. Yeah. And like I say, made in South Africa for South African conditions. And this is what we brought to the table. And yeah. I have to use the pun, the table, because it's very important. <laughs> Our food comes from the garden, from our farm, as we say, from yeah. our own farms, onto the table, and this is what it's all about. So it went from the, those, it went to the potato grow bags. To grow your own exciting potatoes at home is such an incredible thing. Last year, the amount of potato bags that we had sold for people to start growing potatoes was explosive. Wow. They're coming back now for season, getting their lives back on track. Yeah. We've got the grow bags that sell those, which are the, uh, they, chemical free, so biodegradable, you plant your trees in there. So even if you don't have a garden and you want yeah. to grow trees, you can grow them in bags successfully. I've got, and we'll show you at some stage, I'll show you some of the veg and the fruit trees that are growing. I've got beautiful notches, I've got, I've got <laughs> nectarines, I've got 50, we counted 30 odd nectarines in a tree this size already. All my fruit trees that I've got growing at home have grown out of grow bags. Wow. And like the, my nectarines, so the best was this. Last year, the first tree I took home, was a Nachi tree yeah. and this tree was about that size and as it was flowering and you saw these beautiful flowers I saw fruits forming and I thought to myself this can't be there is no way I'm going to get fruit out of this tree and this tree grew to, well, it didn't grow that much bigger because it was a smaller tree but the fruits grew and, uh, and you'll see on my profile you'll That's see we took photographs of Nachi's the whole tree was bending over because oh the size of the fruit so then I started growing the rest of my fruit trees on my, in my grow bags and my nectarine tree, we counted over 30 nectarines growing on my nectarine tree in a grow bag. And we've got mangoes, yeah. we've got avos, and we've got a host of different fruit trees growing out of grow bags. You're making me hungry just <laughs> by talking, but you know, this is such beautiful greenery. Just take us through the different growing systems. So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of hydroponic setups and a very, very fancy looking system here. So maybe just explain to us the different growing systems that you have within home growers. Okay, perfect. So I'll start with this one. Okay. This is the grow barrel. The grow barrel in less than one square meter, you will grow over 67. That's wow. right, 67 different varieties of herbs and vegetables. Wow. In organic soil, and you're gonna get the best growth. This is beautiful. 
Then what we do is we, we have a whole host of different varieties of herbs and vegetables that are sold in either pots or seedlings and so on. The nice thing about this is that you can take this and you can pop it into a grow barrel, you can pop it into any other medium that you have. Yeah. But remember the whole secret about what home grow is all about. We're not a nursery. Okay. You know, and this is what is where the magic lies. You know, we are a center of sustainable excellence in terms of growing what you eat and eat what you grow. That's what we are. So you're not going to find, as we call the smellies, we don't have <laughs> the roses and all the smelly nice pretty things. Yeah. We have the edibles and everything edible. And our systems are all engineered for that. So I'm going to bring you into this one now. This is the A-frame okay. hydroponic system. Yes. This is the monster. This is a lot of people call it the big daddy. Because this is designed to have incredible amounts of different vegetables growing. So this one, as I pull out, you'll see here, We've got a massive root system that's forming. Yes, water I can flow, see that. It's NFT, so it's a nutrient flow technique with the water. If I pop this open, you'll see very quickly, and we'll go through some other stage with more detail. But you'll see there how incredible. Oh. Look how healthy those roots are. You can see yes. the water. And a lot of people say, but how come? And like I say, we'll go through in detail some other stage. But people say, but how come it's not deep, 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 deep in water? Well, it doesn't have to be. It's nutrient flow technique. Okay. It's a flow, as you can see there. The water is it's coming flowing from and it's, and going it's carrying all the, way. all the nutrients. And the plants absorb those into the root system and you get the most incredible growth. Wow. So, so this is And you can grow various varieties anything. because I definitely see spinach. Oh, but, so. um, <laughs> this is cabbage. Yeah, different varieties that I see here. So what's happening as well, so remember season has just come on, on come through. Yes. Whereas we've gone through some hectic cold fronts. Absolutely. And let me tell you, if you saw what those cold fronts had done, I mean, I took some pictures and, you, and I'll send them to you. You, you just have a look. On the end here, we had crystals. We had, we had, <laughs> these, we had these icicles growing. I couldn't believe we came in the morning that the, the icicles were hanging. And some of the, the more frail plants, mm. unfortunately, couldn't survive that cold. Yeah. But the farms had the same problem. The farms, the farms who produce all the little seedlings, yeah. they lost their entire yeah. production yeah. because of the cold. So here you can, so last year we had eggplant, like you cannot believe, the one section here was hanging with eggplants, absolutely incredible. Yeah. Tomato growth, if you love tomatoes, let me tell you, you've got to see tomatoes growing on these systems. Big, plump, beautiful, juicy tomatoes, yeah. absolutely beautiful. Perfect, let's go to this side, I want to sure. show you some other interesting things that we've got. Wow. So as you see, this is the A-frame hydroponic. We've got so yes. many other different forms of hydroponic. This is more of a flat structure, That's as right. I see. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, but you can see how great the growth is. You must see the celery. Yeah. So we have a restaurant as well that we supply, which is beautiful. So the restaurant gets all, whatever you see growing here, all this fresh produce goes straight into the restaurant. People come here and they love it because of that. Wow. So I want to show you. So that's the one. Then you've got the tower hydroponic. Now okay. at home, I converted my tower hydroponic system into a chili factory. This thing produces chilies for me like you cannot believe. So what happens is you've got the reservoir with all the nutrients. The water pumps all the way up here. On the top here you'll see you've got all these clay pebbles. Yes, right? I see them. And they're rich in nutrients. So you see those white little stain marks on there. Okay. That's because they're still covered in the fortune of nutrients, which is fantastic. Okay. And what then, type of nutrients do you have, does one have to put in the, these type of systems? So there's, there's many types that one can use. We okay. use a dry compound unit which has been pre-calibrated. So when people come to home growers, it's already set up for them. Oh. They just take it, they mix it into water and they put it into the reservoir and that is it. And we teach them the whole process. And how often does one have to Once put in month. nutrients? Okay. Once a month. And so, any type for any type of crop? So it depends, yes. So it's, tomatoes are naughty. They like to drink a lot more than most other vegetables. <laughs> you've got to give them a bit more. Yeah. And um, But you check it. You've got meters and that you can test to see the nutrient levels to see what it's like. All right. But because we've calibrated by on a 20 liter, 30 litre reservoir, we've got it to an exact science. So we've made it easier for our customers to at least work through the hydroponic process that they don't have to, it's not too technical. Yes. We've taken the technical part out of it all. Yeah, and if I may add there, it's because you know, people would hear the word or the term hydroponic and think it's just so um, A grade, you know, maybe it's only um, jargon that farmers Correct. can understand. But I think what I'm picking up here is that the benefits of buying all these different systems for the home grower is that not only are they buying the system from you, but you're also giving them a bit more education on yes. how to successfully grow um, food that they will eat. So you're still providing that support in terms of how you know the growth process should be. Absolutely. So I want to show you now. So just as anyone who visits home growers, we yes. say we'll take you on a tour. We show them around. They can't believe it. You know, the average person looks at herbs and veg and they go, and they only know the few things. They know thyme, they know basil, and then they probably get lost after basil. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, what happened? Yeah. Said, but you've got so many others. So yes. before we get there, I want to show you one thing, which is one absolute favorite. Now this is 
This is a, a, uh, a, a herb, it's called passion fruit daisy. If you take your nail and rub on the leaf, rub it hard. Okay. Rub it in your, and then smell, smell that your finger. You smell the air. Oh yes. You smell the passion fruit. Yes, it's yes, yes. incredible. This is an insect repellent. It's the most oh, incredible. Wow. People put it into their gins and so on. There's so much you can do. But what I want, before we move on, I want to show you. What, this is what's important. I want to show okay. you how hydroponic, how it works. You saw the pebbles a few seconds ago. Yes. And then I want to show you how the net cup is. So if I pull this net cup out, I'm gonna. It's gonna be a bit of a trick because we've got such strong root growth. And oh you can see wow! Incredible growth. Now yes. what happens is those those roots. If you look at the water flow, it's just little splashes of water. Those little splashes of water are so rich with nutrients that these roots are sucking out all those incredible all nutrients. nutrients and you're getting such an incredible growth. And the leaves are oh, so lovely and you, quite hard as well. It's incredible. You know, people look at this and they come here, and especially like the grow barrels as well. The leaves get you that size and people look and they go, is that real? Because it looks like <laughs> rubber and rubbery. So this is how it should be. I can what agree, What we get in yeah. the supermarket is not like this. Wow, this is lovely. So, I'll have to get this baby back in. And as well, with this system again, any type of crops could grow in because Absolutely. I also see lettuce as well and herbs, I suppose. Absolutely. Great. What other systems do you have? I see lovely bags. Yeah, so these bags. This looks very pretty. Now, that is very interesting. Well, I'll go through that one. This is special. But this is what last year people were going mad for. This is okay. my, one of my absolute favorites. This is a potato grow bag. We've already got potatoes growing in there. You can see them shoots coming through. Yes. Okay, so we've got potatoes coming out of this. So we harvest potatoes. So all my potatoes at home, I've got five bags, and I've got potatoes coming out of succession. And then as I harvest the one, I start the journey at the back, and then I wait for it to push forward, and we roll the potato bags. Okay. And we have magnificent potatoes growing. Okay. So potato grow bag. This one here is the roll-up farm. Again, engineered for people that don't necessarily have gardens yes. or garden space, or they've got a big garden, big property, but their kitchen is quite far from the garden. Yes. And as a result of that, you know, they, they typically don't go into the garden to go and farm or plant their veg and so on. So this makes it easier. So it's engineered in South Africa with uh, obviously uh, UV protected material. Okay, and this is still potting soil. All potting soil and compost yeah. mixture. So we use premium, all organic as well. Okay. And you can see this is only now probably about two weeks old, if that. Okay. Um, and in doing well. Healthy, healthy, healthy vegetables. Yeah. What's lovely about this type of solution, it comes in two sizes. You've got the one and a half meter, sorry, this is the one meter. Okay. You've got the one meter and you've got the one and a half meter. What's nice about it, you can link them, put them next to each other. But you can grow anything. You can go straight straight from your cabbages, your lettuces, yes. to your onions, to your sweet potatoes. That's one of my favorites, sweet potatoes. Yeah. And you must see them grow. And a lot of people don't realize you can actually eat the leaves the sweet potato leaves so that's like another big benefit and how you manage this place uh, um, this growing bag is that you just um, water the 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 crops that's just it. normally with the watering can Perfect. as you would it okay and great the, and the water retention it's got all the little drain holes underneath it okay so you're not losing a lot of water right so the the the, the nest the, the need to water on a very frequent basis yeah. is taken away so ideally you want to put it on the ground yes. so that the water could drain off that's into awesome. the ground and, and, and actually will anyway because we've got it on the sides Lovely. underneath and so on so you save water you're going to be able to enjoy your favorite crops yeah and you're going to be able to feed your friends and your family and have fun at the same time oh my this sounds so amazing Cass. so what else can one get just besides the different growing systems um you know do you uh, do you also provide seeds and seedlings yes. for 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 home growers to start absolutely. with absolutely so besides the seedlings and the pots and everything else we have a wide variety i still like to think we probably have the widest variety of of seeds edible seeds so okay. you'll see different strains and types that you get which is really special um, and you've got propagation kits okay so that's if somebody is going to take it a little bit more seriously and they're going to buy this kit it looks like a little incubator type of thing where it's got little jiffy plugs in it which is made from cocoa peat you put them inside the cells inside this uh, this propagation kit you put water in so the jiffy uh, plugs which is cocoa peat absorbs all that uh, that moisture in the water it expands you drop your seeds into there you close the lid creates an environment which is moist and warm and humid uh, a perfect environment and then what happens is within days you start seeing shoots of growth and then you've got this beautiful environment oh, where you've wow. got all the vegetables and herbs growing and I'd then from love there, to see this either, and that's from there you either go from that into soil or into hydroponics or ah. into grow bags or into pockets so the choices are endless this is amazing but before we go I'm just noticing 
this beautiful wall. What's happening here? Okay, this is one of my absolute favorites as well. This is a special one. This is, as we call the vertical garden or the vertical forest. And people give it different names, which yes. is quite interesting. Some people call it the straw strawberry planter. Some people call it, yeah. I mean, they've got different names for it. But, you know, we have, now this is what's beautiful, 365 oh, wow. days a year, 365 days a year, we've got strawberries growing. That's our secret here. How's that possible in Johannesburg? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Perfect conditions. You oh, can see wow. how they're growing. The trick is that as the strawberries grow, always try and keep them out of the soil. Try one. Try one. I'd love to. So I've been spotting this one. <laughs> oh, remember, wow. There are no chemicals, no sprayed with anything. It's just water and they are mm. juicy. They are plum. Wait yeah. till season grows. They're going to be about the size of that. When people visit home growers, this is probably their favorite spot. As they come in, they all go pluck a strawberry and eat it. But oh, you can see the delicious. clustering. Look how beautiful they are. They flower and they fruit. And the trick is you've got to manage your strawberries. So as they start to run, the parent plant lets it run and obviously produce more offspring. Mm -hmm. You've got to cut that run for it to produce more flowers and more flowers means more fruit. And yes. You can see that. So we got incredible amounts of strawberries. So this one also would be good for the patio um, because it has this whole entire wall stand and I'm seeing there's strawberries, there's some peppers here, there's some beetroot. Same system, you Everything. could grow anything um, organically throughout Absolutely. the year. And what's beautiful about this, although you're seeing it on a, on a wall, yeah. The system comes in eaches. So you buy either a four pocket, or eight pocket, or a twelve pocket. So depending oh, on your see. need. If you only got a small little area and you need only two fours, you can put two four pockets on. If you wanted to oh, cover a okay. wall, you can go put four, eights, and twelves and cover the wall. That's what makes it so special. So you can customize it for the client based on how big of a wall that they want. Absolutely, that's exactly it. Wow. And it's so easy. It's, and it's got rust-free eyelets, so you've got no rust dripping into the into the food it's source, the, which oh. is important. And you've got drip holes on the front and the back of the actual units. So there's no blocking, so you don't get root drop. And that's why you get the best growth. Seems so easy <laughs> to easy. manage. Let's go inside. Wow, so this is the inside of home growers, is that correct? Cass, this looks lovely. I'm seeing very different seed varieties here that a home grower could start off with. And tell me about this. What is this small little kit here? Okay, so if you recall, when we were meeting and we were discussing in the yard, yes. I spoke to you about a propagation kit. Now this is your propagation kit. Now I said it's like a little bit of an incubator. So okay. that lid comes off and inside there you've got little jiffy plugs and that's made from your cocoa peat. Oh. So what happens is when you put water inside this, they yeah. expand and then okay. you take your seeds and whatever seed you're deciding to use, you pop into the jiffy plug, you close the lid of yeah. the propagation kit okay. and then what will happen is over a short period of time, within days, it's going to start shooting and you're going to see beautiful little leaves coming out and the root system is going to form and once it's fully established, from there we take the jiffy plug out. Yeah. Yes, we take this and it's going to be, you can, all of a sudden now you're going to have a plant on it. You're going to take that and that's either going to go into your grow barrel or it's going to go into your hydroponic system ah. from the plant itself. Because in the, in the hydroponics you're going to use with your little clay pebbles. But this is to get you growing. So this is like a little nursery. That's exactly beautiful. Your that's own cool. home portable that is nursery. A, that is exactly well put. Right. So what else is inside the store? I'm seeing various things, especially growing stuff. Oh, and some I've seen from outside as well. well those are also, that's interesting. So we've got collapsible worm farms. Okay. So if you want to start your own worm composting at home, we have the units. We've got okay. composting units as well. And because this is about edibles, we try everything. So you even got your mushroom grow kits. And a lot of people don't oh, understand wow. that. You've got a variety. It's all culinary. So you can get your own mushrooms going. You can harvest them. You can cook with them. There's so much you can do with mushrooms. Are these actual mushrooms? Yes, absolutely. So how do I plant this? So no, so you don't plant it. What you'll do is you'll prepare it, you'll cut it, you'll spray it, you'll keep it moist, and then as the mycelium starts to develop, you'll see the mushrooms start to pin and they start to grow, they explode. So you'll see a wow. difference. So what you'll do is maybe another time when you come through, I'll actually go through the mushroom grow kits with you and we'll actually prepare one. Wow. And we'll test it and let's do that. So I think that'll be quite exciting. That I'll sounds exactly. exciting, I'll definitely. So this is another product which we've done, which is also, you never saw it outside. Okay. It's called the Watch Me Grow Bag. And okay. I had this made. Because you can see. That's right. <laughs> so the kids love it specifically, and, oh. and the big kids like myself. And the reason <laughs> being is we take your tubes, 
and you take let's say your uh, onions your carrots where it grows beneath the soil line okay you never see what's going on yes. now this is a uv protected film so you'll see the root systems forming so you get to see what's happening beneath the soil line so if somebody's interested to see what's happening to their radishes their carrots their onions this is the solution. All the crops that go Absolutely. that grow below so ground. So really great as a as a nice. It's a beautiful for kids in yes. terms of entertainment and education. Yes. But also for those that want to see what's happening with their own growing from seeds. Beautiful, beautiful. Great. Beautiful. What else do you have? These are very very fancy looking buckets. So I take it it's another form of a hydroponic system. That's right. As well. So this is the deep water culture system. Okay. Which uh, is is a very very popular uh, growing tool. Okay. What it allows you to do is it allows you to grow a host of vegetables in water. So it is a hydroponic system. Okay. Unlike other hydroponic systems, that typically they have pumps in them, so it needs electricity. This yes. needs none of that. Okay. It gets supplied with eight vegetables of your choice. Right. Nutrients that will last you a year because you can carry on growing, growing, growing. The net cups, the pebbles, and the instruction kit. And right. that will get you growing. Under. So it's literally just water in here and nutrients and nutrients, and you've got your pebbles and your that's plant it. like we've that's seen it. outside. That's that's this exactly. is amazing. So if I understand correctly, I'm coming into home growers, I'm buying a kit, I'm buying seedlings, I'm buying seeds as well. You're teaching me and providing that um, uh, off-site support. And these are the various stuff that I could buy to complement my, my growing systems, yes. right? Because I'm seeing a lot of feed here, yes. um, some root gel. Um, so this is just to obviously make sure that the plant is healthy Absolutely. throughout the cycle. Lovely. Just to get your journey. I mean, you want to have a successful journey. And yes. As we're passing out, which I want to show you as well. So we've got the two um, roll-up forms. This is yes. the one meter one. So the one you saw outside was full of soil. Yes. So now you can see when I talked to you about the drainage holes. Yes. And that's when you get the natural draining going through. Um, you've got the support strap, so don't get bulging out of the sides. So your growth of any vegetables, and like I said, if you're putting even your sweet potatoes in, this is ideal. It's ideal for anything. Absolutely special if a person doesn't have a garden. Then you've got the one and a half meter one, just a bigger unit, as you can okay. see, much bigger. Same but, but bigger, same yeah. Concept. The concept's identically the same. And then I want to show you the very special happy place, which is <laughs> the seedling room. So okay. Right in there, I want to show you. This is really one of my favorites. So. Oh, wow. So the seedling room, wow. we get fresh vegetables and herbs every single week. So wow. all of this has come in. We still got to relabel some of them. So you'll yes. see that's not beetroot. This is butter <laughs> lettuce. But as it comes in every week, we have fresh, fresh, fresh organic seedlings, vegetable seedlings delivered from the farm for people to come and get. And these are put into their various, various systems. Yes. Whether it's the hydroponic, whether it's a grow barrel, whether it's the vertical forest, you name it, you use any of these into those systems. So I basically come on to home growers, I come in here into the store, and then I leave with my fully fledged Absolutely. garden. So like for example, there we go, so I'll take a spinach as an example. Yes. So you'll buy your fresh spinach, you'll put that in, you'll take it home, you would have your beautiful butter lettuces which you'll take as well, start that journey. I mean you've got so much of beautiful uh, spring onion, You've got everything, beetroot, lovely beetroot. Now, my favorite about beetroot is not necessarily just eating the beetroot itself. It's harvesting the, the, the leaves for salads and it absolutely yes. divine. So these come in what type of sizes? Am I buying Beaches. the whole tray or is it six, twelves? How, how so do they what, come in? What we decided to do is we wanted to change the whole experience. Okay. We want people not to be restricted. So what happens is you go to any other typical place of buying uh, greens, you're restricted to buying them in trays of sixes and eights or whatever it is. Mm. But who wants six spinach or who wants only six of whatever it is? Mm. You come here and you say, you know what? I've never seen that before. I'm gonna buy one of those. I'm gonna try one, try one, try two, try. You choose. That's what makes it special. So the next time you come back, you say, you know what? The last time I tried, for example, we had the customer who came in over the weekend, Brussels sprouts. Mm. And it wasn't ready for them, but they tried it. Mm. Now before, if you had a bite, Traditionally, you'd buy them in sixes and say, but you're not going to do that, but here yeah. you experiment. This looks lovely. This looks lovely. What else do we have to um, show us within home growers? Okay, so I'll show you. We'll come out of the uh, seedling room. Okay. So I've got to show you this. I forgot you as you walk past it. Okay. We talk about hydration. I mean, summer's here. Okay. We feel it. It's warm. 
and people are going to start going away again, weekends and holidays. Mm. But what we need to always remember is about keeping our little green friends hydrated. Yes. So this is the perfect little solution. It is called a lazy waterer. So what you do is you take a two liter bottle and or a 500 ml buddy bottle, cold drink bottle, you fill it with water, you pop it on, on top of this uh, mechanism and then you adjust, there's a little tap there that you turn and it drips, so it works on a drip ratio. So you adjust how fast you want the water to drop. And all you want to drip, all you want it to do is to drip, 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 just to keep the soil moist. So while you're away for a weekend or a week, whatever it is, mm. your little green friends are healthy. It's like your own uh, automatic irrigation Absolutely. system running. And again, no electricity needed. Wow. You know, no one has to check on it, special. Cass, I'm seeing some lovely looking pots here. Just explain to us what these are as well. These are beautiful. So these are stackable pots. What I love about them and what a lot of people love, one is they come in a variety of colors. Okay, and yeah. The creative people don't necessarily just buy one color, they mix and match. So they've got a green and a, and a black and a terracotta and a gray all matched. Keeping together. it colorful. And the nice <laughs> thing is you can buy them in eaches. And as budget allows, yeah. one month you buy one, the next month you buy another, and so on. And you can grow massive amounts of beautiful veg out of this. I mean, you'll mm. see on the outside, and I'll show you, I've got a I got a, a beetroot which is growing the size of a almost like a rugby ball you know wow. and it's gone mad it's growing out of the side of this but you've got beautiful uh, spring onions you've got you've got a wide variety you've got a french lavender which was growing out of the top of the one there magnificent absolutely beautiful so it's a very very interesting product to have and to grow with mm. great hydration as you can see there mm. so the water does get through and even if you've got worms in there the worms can pass through which is beautiful mm. we're unlike a lot of pot systems that you have you don't get that this gives it to you a fantastic fantastic addition mm. and it looks very durable Absolutely. as well right. could really last you long durable uh, stackable easy to store easy to move easy to erect you know you don't need to have additional help wow Cass, thank you so much for allowing us into this beautiful space that you have here home growers definitely looks like a beautiful brand teaching us to grow our own food we look forward to the journey that we have ahead with you Thank you very much. It's an absolute pleasure having you in our space today. And thanks for the opportunity. It really has been very special. And I love helping people and getting them on this growing journey. It is really something special to enjoy. Well, that's great to hear because I'm excited to announce that we've got a lot more in store um, with the Private Property Farming Podcast, our home gardening series. So stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you. <laughs>